Hello and welcome back with Hidden Oaks. Today we are going to talk about an incubator that we've got. So the model is a 2150 Farm Innovator Incubator. And we got an incubator because why? To hatch eggs ourselves. Yeah. Because they're cute. The eggs are cute? No. <laughs> <laughs> the babies are. The babies are. They are cute. And well, we've spent a lot of money getting chicks since we got here. We've been here for two months now. Um, we have how many birds now? 30 something? 36. 38. Maybe 38 or 36. Yes. Lost so count. Lost count. We got a couple more this week. Um, so with that said, we have a bunch of birds and we've spent a lot of money on chicks and laying hens, etc. So we thought we'd give the hatching a try. Um, it's going to be a great experiment for the kids as well, watching the process and um, watching the, the eggs hatch eventually. So we ordered this thing online. We're gonna let you look at it and um, tell you how it works. Why we got this incubator is because the lady we got our guineas and gosling from, which is a baby goose, um, uses this and recommends it for us and there are a lot of good views online. We got this in the mail. I'm going to read the most important features to you guys. First, we've got digital display. It shows the temperature, the humidity, and the days to hatch. We've got days to hatch countdown, which is set at 21 days, adjustable for a variety of eggs. We've got a large picture window which provides 360 degrees unobstructed view inside incubator. Great for educational obser observation. <laughs> got stuck with the word. And lastly, we've got a deep bottom tray to accommodate even large duck and goose eggs. Those are pretty big. <laughs> Hey, Katie, Katie. Okay, so here's for the unboxing part. Fancy, fancy. It's, we're opening the box. Okay, we're gonna get it out. So let's take a look. The box was not very heavy when it was delivered, so let's see what's in here. Alright, let's pull it up there. Ah! Here we go. That's better. Okay, so. Here it is, Still Air Digital Incubator, model 2150. It's made in Indiana, American made. Look at that, that's perfect. So I guess the reason why this box wasn't very heavy was the fact that the incubator is um, made out of styrofoam, which makes sense because it obviously insulates everything. So Here's the lid with the big old window, see? Big old window. We've got the plug and the digital. And here we go, this is it. Pretty simple. So we've got the bottom, we've got the, the inlay right here where the eggs are gonna go. So the instructions are pretty straightforward. There's nothing to it. It's a box with a lid and a digital sensor to measure the temperature and the humidity inside. So we're gonna test it out. Um, we have this little mesh right here. Can you see this? There we go. That the eggs will sit on. You have these little holes. They, label, they labeled it easy filling hole. Not, it's, a, it's a hole. Nothing special about it, okay? It's an easy hole to put water into. And they are suggesting to use a turkey baster to insert water once you actually have eggs in there so that you don't have to open it up and mess with the humidity level and the temperature in there. 
Hence the holes, pretty straightforward. You have the lid right here. So again, it's all manual. There's nothing too crazy about it. I'm pretty sure we can handle it. And we're gonna try it out and put some eggs in there and let you know how it goes. Real important. You can only incubate fertilized eggs. Luckily, we have a busy rooster. So don't try it out on supermarket eggs. And this is by Elvis or Elsa, one of the Polishes. This is, these are probably by Coachella, a Cochin. And these three are probably by our Rhode Island Red, Berta. So, as you can see, there's a little light blinking. So this is the warning light that tells us it's not ready for eggs just yet because um, we need to have certain temperature and humidity in there. What, what's that? What do we need? Um, we need 50% of humidity Yep. and we need 100 degrees Fahrenheit of temperature. Yeah, so that is perfect for hatching eggs. And what this thing is set on, let's see, we are at 44% and 84 degrees. So we're close and it doesn't take long to get there. We put an X on one of the sides so we know to flip it over. And we have to flip it over three times a day. And we put the date um, so we know when we put it in and we know when we take it out. Well, here we go, everybody. The incubator is up. The eggs are in. We have about three weeks until the first chicks should hopefully hatch. The kids will follow along and they will be assigned to do the actual work in regards to turning the eggs because we did not buy an automatic turner with this incubator. There are some accessories that come with it that you can buy for it, but we just went with the simple straightforward incubator. I will drop the link down below so that you can find it on Amazon and that's all we use to get it should you be interested in incubating yourself. If you are already doing it and um, have successfully hatched chicks or any other poultry, let us know what you use. Let us know about your success story. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Follow us along. We would love to hear from you and stay in touch. And we will see you in the next video.